my god, the largest crypto exchanges are shutting down all around the United States. Looks like you won't be able to get Shiba Inu or any other cryptocurrencies from major crypto exchanges like Coinbase anymore. Does it mean it's time to panic? Do we need to instantly move our crypto investments somewhere else before it's too late? Well, in this video, you will find all the answers. Disclaimer Well, the story begins in June of this year, when the US federal government pursued a case against one of the most popular cryptocurrency trading platforms. But before we begin, this channel has a daily giveaway of 1 million Shiba Inu tokens. If you want to become a Shiba millionaire, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment hashtag Shiba Inu down below. Good luck! On June 6th, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, filed a lawsuit against Coinbase, the second largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume. The SEC claims that Coinbase operated its platform for trading crypto assets without registering as a national securities exchange and broker, as stated in the press release issued on June 6. Additionally, the SEC asserts that at least 13 of the cryptocurrencies offered by Coinbase are considered crypto asset securities, according to the complaint. The moment it happened, Sheep Army was quite in panic. Even though Coinbase is not the largest exchange in the world, it is a top one exchange in the US, and this is super important because Shiba Inu is one of the most popular crypto assets in the United States, outperforming even Ethereum. Let's quickly clarify what a security actually is. In the world of cryptocurrencies, a security is a term that refers to a specific type of crypto asset. Imagine it like a digital investment or token that you buy with the expectation of making a profit in the future. Securities can represent ownership in a company, a share of profits, or some other kind of financial interest. For example, if you invest in a cryptocurrency and expect to receive returns or benefits from the efforts of others like a company or platform, it might be considered a security. In simple terms, securities in the crypto world are a way for people to invest in a project or platform and potentially earn rewards based on the success of that project. It's important to note that regulations such as those from the US Securities and Exchange Commission may apply to cryptocurrencies considered securities. This means that certain rules and requirements could come into play to protect investors. However, there are lots of uncertainties in the crypto world since the US government can't clearly state what is a security and what isn't. For example, determining whether Shiba Inu or any cryptocurrency might be considered a security involves looking at factors such as how people invest money with the expectation of profit, whether its success depends on a central group, if investors expect profits from the efforts of others, if the value relies on a central group's work, how it's marketed as an investment, and the balance between speculative investments and utility. The legal classification can vary, and it's advisable to consult legal professionals for specific guidance, considering jurisdiction and regulatory interpretations. Anyway, in a tweet following the SEC's announcement, Coinbase co-founder and CEO Brian Armstrong said in part, Regarding the SEC complaint against us today, we're proud to represent the industry in court to finally get some clarity around crypto rules. Remember, 1. The SEC reviewed our business and allowed us to become a public company in 2021. 2. There is no path to come in and register. We tried, repeatedly, so we don't list securities. We reject the vast majority of assets we review. 3. The SEC and CFTC have made conflicting statements and don't even agree on what is a security and what is a commodity. 4. This is why the US Congress is introducing new legislation to fix the situation, and the rest of the world is moving to put clear rules in place to support this technology. Instead of publishing a clear rulebook, the SEC has taken a regulation by enforcement approach that is harming America. So if we need to avail ourselves of the courts to get clarity, so be it. By the way, in case it's not obvious, the Coinbase suit is very different from others out there. The complaint filed against us is exclusively focused on what is or is not a security, and we are confident in our facts and the law. We'll get the job done. In the meantime, let's all keep moving forward and building as an industry. America will get this right in the end. Quite an interesting world we're living in. The harsh messaging coming from the agency and its chair Gary Gensler is a sign that the SEC may be doing exactly what many in the industry have believed, shut down crypto in the US. Chen Arad, co-founder and chief experience officer of Solidus Labs, 
a company that provides tools to help crypto exchanges and institutions prevent market manipulation. But is it really possible? What do you think? Comment down below. Anyway, let's get back to the main topic of this video. So the lawsuit finally got some updates. Coinbase, a major cryptocurrency exchange, and the US Securities and Exchange Commission have asked Judge Faya to split the time evenly for their upcoming important court battle on January 17th of 2024. In a joint letter filed on November 16th of 2023, Coinbase and the SEC stressed the importance of the upcoming discussion about a legal motion. They proposed dividing the four hours designated for the argument equally, showing that both sides recognize the significance of their roles in the hearing. The main disagreement is about the SEC's claim that certain actions by Coinbase might break securities laws. Coinbase, defended by top US lawyer William Savitt, argues that the SEC is relying on outdated laws that don't suit the complexities of the modern cryptocurrency market. Coinbase also challenges the SEC's authority over the crypto industry, saying it interferes with Congress's ongoing efforts to create clear regulations for cryptocurrencies. This legal clash between Coinbase and the SEC is not just about jurisdiction. It's part of a larger discussion on how the rapidly changing world of cryptocurrencies should be regulated. The case's outcome could set important rules for how crypto exchanges operate in the US and impact the future of crypto regulation. In the upcoming January 17th hearing, Coinbase is expected to strongly argue against the SEC, trying to show that neither the cryptocurrencies listed on its exchange nor its crypto staking services should be considered securities. This argument is crucial to Coinbase's challenge of the SEC's authority in this area. The January 17th hearing is anticipated to be a significant moment in the crypto industry, potentially changing how regulations work. As both sides prepare for a vigorous debate, the crypto community is closely watching because the decision will affect investors, exchanges, and the future of digital assets in the United States. So what do you think? Will we see Coinbase being the top one crypto exchange in the US, or will it shut down soon, taking Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies with it? Comment down below, I'd be eager to read your opinion on that. We really should understand that this situation might lead to major crypto exchanges where popular cryptocurrencies like Shiba Inu are traded, facing problems or even shutting down. To be on the safe side, some people might think it's a good idea to move their cryptocurrency holdings to a safer place. Moving assets to a safer place means transferring them to more secure wallets or platforms. The suggestion comes from concerns about the stability and security of the current exchanges. If an exchange has regulatory issues, users could be worried about losing access to their assets. The idea behind this precaution is to be prepared in case something bad happens, like an exchange shutting down. It could involve transferring assets to hardware wallets or other secure storage solutions that give users more control over their cryptocurrencies. This advice is like telling people to spread their eggs into different baskets. By moving their crypto holdings to various wallets or platforms, individuals hope to reduce the risk in case one particular exchange faces challenges. It's important to remember that the situation described is based on what could happen, not what has already happened. But because the crypto market and regulations can change, it's a good idea for individuals to stay informed, think about the security of their assets, and maybe seek advice from experts in the crypto field if they have concerns. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.